Hello guys, my name is Anna and I'm from Ukraine and typically I vlog about serious questions as this war with Russia continues and soon we are going to win but this is going to be a special edition about the raccoon that was stolen when the second greatest army in the world was escaping from Ukrainian Kherson. In general, this is not funny because I do want Ukrainian raccoon to come back to Ukraine and I'm sure he will. Maybe he will even capture a couple of Russians. But the very story became so popular, almost viral in Ukrainian media, that I feel like I want to share something with you about this raccoon fighter. Uh, in general, raccoons are not common in Ukraine and you can come across them only in the zoos or some people try to domesticate them. Also, they are pretty cute, and as we don't have many of them, uh, as far as I understand, in the US there are a lot, and sometimes you call them trash pandas, <laughs> which is unusual, but they don't cause any harm in Ukraine, so the only attitude that we have towards them is a high level of uh, cuteness. So, when we have heard this news, there appeared lots and lots of memes and reactions. And in general, I hope I actually know that the animal now is alive. This is what, uh, why it allows me to joke. Because Russian orcs are bad not only to people, but to animals. And I had separate vlogs about the differences in the way Ukrainian and Russian soldiers treat animals. Maybe I can make a new update. Let me know if it's interesting to you. Animals and uh, war. But... Uh, so what do we need to know about that raccoon and funny stories that we have here? Uh, well, first of all, one of the first memes and jokes that I liked was about the changes in Russian military plan. That at the very beginning they wanted to take Kiev in three days. Then they wanted to build a corridor to Transnistria. Later they spoke that perhaps uh, liberating Donbass people will be enough. And now they are satisfied with just one Ukrainian raccoon that they have stolen. Another thing that I also uh, liked a lot is the joke about uh, looting. We know that many Russians stole many washing machines in Ukraine. And here in Ukraine, we often call raccoons the washers or raccoons the rinsers because of their habits to wash. So perhaps uh, washing machines are too complicated for Russians. They are heavy and it's difficult to transport them. And a raccoon is cheaper, easier to uh, work with, and he can wash a lot. So maybe that's the reason why they have decided to stole that raccoon. Also, I have come across a picture of a medal uh, that might be given to Russian soldiers with a face of raccoon on it for those who managed to capture Ukrainian raccoons. Also, I like lots of photos with uh, our raccoons who actually plan to capture Russians and then return back to Ukraine with Russians not alone. And uh, one of uh, the other things that made me laugh is, of course, the mistake. Perhaps this is not an ordinary raccoon, but a rocket raccoon from the Guardians of the Galaxy. Anyway, Russians are in trouble when they start stealing Ukrainian raccoons. I am sure a raccoon will return back. And uh, from the real information that we know, it is very likely that the owner of one private zoo in Crimea came to Kherson, stole a raccoon and brought it to his illegal zoo in Crimea. So when Crimea is liberated, raccoon will also be liberated. And believe me, Ukrainians never leave other others, uh, Ukrainians and other allies and raccoons are uh, also the ones that we are ready to fight for if we need to return them back home. And just as with Kherson, Crimea will soon come back and together with it a raccoon. Maybe it will even help to build the network of uh, Ukrainian, I don't know, intelligence agents uh, on the territory of uh, Crimea. <clears throat> Uh, thank you for asking me about this story. I felt like uh, it is interesting and it demonstrates a lot about the second largest army in the world, the army of orcs and the Ukrainian raccoons that will definitely win in this war. Thank you for watching. Thank you for buying me coffees. Let me know more stories about your raccoons and how do you live with them. And Slavo Ukraini!